I love water. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is B, and this is a space that I'm using to document my wellness and weight loss journey. So welcome. A few weeks ago, I decided that I wanted to upload a weekly weigh-in video and it has been so helpful. It has kept me motivated and looking forward to getting on the scale, even though I really don't like getting on the scale, to be honest. I don't. I think none of us do. <laughs> anyway. I decided that I was gonna do it and so here I am with another update. I weighed in and I am 156.2. Let me check. Why do I forget? Like, I just did it. I always forget. <laughs> I'm terrible. 156.2. I don't know how to dance. That's my happy dance. I'll include a little uh, snapshot of my weigh-in or my scale. Um, but yeah, I'm 156.2. Last week, I think I was 158-ish around there. I don't remember the exact number, but I'll pop it in here. Um, and I had mentioned that I felt like I was going into like a plateau because last week and the week before, I was around the same weight so my plan for the week was to make sure that I was getting enough water that I kept my workouts consistent which I am committed to working out strength training at least three days a week and then the rest of the week I am doing a challenge a yearly challenge so I'm always walking or doing a run between three and a half three three and a half to five miles every day some days I do squeeze in a little bit more depending how I'm feeling um, like yesterday I did almost six miles and then I was also wanting to get back on my fitness pal and start tracking my meals I, I don't really like to cut my calories too low and so I wanted to make sure that I was eating enough and so that's what I did I tracked my meals on my fitness pal and I also um, on there I was also tracking the amount of water although I know that I drink a lot of water because that's pretty much what I drink all day long every day I did really well I was focused and I because sometimes I forget I'm like I'll eat something and then I forget to track it but I was really focused on making sure that I tracked every single thing that I consumed just to make sure um, that I'm eating enough and um, I'm happy that the scale went down of course the scale isn't everything but we have to celebrate anything we have to celebrate it <laughs> I kitty I, I even want to celebrate that I stuck to um, tracking everything on my fitness pal because that can be tedious for me sometimes <laughs> and I'm like I'm more like an intuitive eater so I really don't like taking time to put it into my fitness pal but I have to celebrate that too because I did so good I did so good <laughs> anyway um, so I'm, you know obviously I'm super excited that the scale went down again like I say every week I don't see the scale as everything you know what I mean I I also look at how I'm feeling how my clothes are fitting one of my new friends had commented on my last video about um, pictures and measurements and I do take pictures and I do measurements but I'm not so good with the measurements to be totally honest um, I do them like every two months <laughs> maybe once a month I I forget and then I always feel like I don't do it in the right spot and yeah that's a different story <laughs> but uh, yeah I do do pictures once a month I don't do pictures weekly I only do once a month but what I really really go off of for me personally is how my clothes are fitting and how I'm feeling so yeah I try to focus mainly on those things you know because I think those are the things that keep me motivated to keep pushing forward, you know? Um, but of course, when you see the scale move, you're like, yes! <laughs> and it just motivates you even more, you know, at least for me. I'm sure it is for everyone. Now I'm gonna say, pause, please. 
if the scale is not moving for you, please don't get discouraged. Please, please, please. You have no idea how many times uh, at the very beginning um, when I first started to um, eat healthier, I wasn't in I wasn't even thinking about losing weight at that point I just wanted to eat I just knew that I had to start somewhere and for me I started by just trying to eat better you know there was times though that I would get on the scale because I'm like well I have been eating better let me see and it was pretty much the same it was like sometimes it was even higher you know and I'll be like Ugh. so I know it's pretty discouraging but I was like you know what I don't care I'm not gonna think of the scale because I'm not really doing this to to lose the weight like that's what I was telling myself you know I'm doing this for my health I'm doing this to get to get healthier I was going through some health issues and I knew that getting back to a healthy uh, way of living was going to definitely help and I didn't want to like go on medication or for my health to deteriorate anymore. If there was something that I could do health, you know, like with my lifestyle, then I definitely wanted to do that before it, you know, my doctor prescribed anything, you know what I mean? So don't get discouraged. I know it's so um, hard not to when you look at the scale, but just keep pushing forward. Just keep pushing forward um, a little bit at a time. It, sometimes we want to see results right away, but um, that's not always the way it's gonna be. The way, I know it's so, I know people say this all the time, it's so annoying. <laughs> But remember that we didn't gain the weight in a week. We didn't gain the weight in a month. I know for me, the weight gain was a almost two year process. It wasn't like I gained the weight right away, you know what I mean? In a week or two, in a month or, or in three months, you know? Don't get discouraged and just keep going. Little changes will definitely add up at the end. <laughs> Okay, I'm going on a tangent now, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that I included that on there because I know that there are so many uh, people, especially um, this week that I've met so many of you uh, ladies that are going through the same journey. Um, I want to make sure that um, we re I, I want to make sure that we remember that for ourselves, you know, because, you know, we all struggle with it. So um, I wanted to make sure I included that in there. Um, now for this week, I'm going to continue to do the same thing. Pretty much. I usually track, make sure that I am really consistent tracking on my fitness pal for two weeks straight. Uh, and so this week I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to um, track my water intake and make sure I get enough rest because I was, that's another thing. I don't know if I mentioned that I made sure that I was getting enough rest. So I'll continue to do that this, um, this week. Workouts pretty much the same. The only thing that I might change with my strength training is that I might add a little more weight. I've been using like between two and five pound weights um doing my workouts and so i know that i'm ready to up the weight but i kind of been like procrastinating <laughs> so i might do that starting this week and yeah that's it i'm going to just keep pushing forward i am excited that the weather is getting so nice i'll get to go out and do more walks outdoors and and runs hopefully uh, and yeah, I'm excited. I hope the weather is good where you are. I'm in New York. The weather is good. It has been getting better, but I know the month of April was a lot of rain. Early May was like some days were good. Some days there was a lot of rain. Not that I think rain is bad, but rain and cold is like, uh, but anyway, <laughs> I hope that you guys are doing good. I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your week and that you stay motivated to keep going. You got this. I believe in you. Make sure you get some movement. Like I always say, doesn't matter what it is. It can be just going up and down the stairs if you have stairs in your house. It can be walking around your living room if you, if that's all you can do. Um, if you have a treadmill, get on the treadmill for 10, 15 minutes. That's how I started when I first started getting back to walking and doing some kind of activity. Um, if you have a dog, I love dogs. <laughs>
I love dogs. It's another way that I was I got myself started again. I started walking the dogs again, and um, you know I know a lot of people said like, oh, going on the treadmill is so boring, or if you have a indoor bike, you're so boring, you know. But I always tell people. If you like YouTube videos, if you like watching movies, if you like scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, get on the bike, get on the treadmill, get your phone out, scroll through the gram, watch a movie, watch a video. You have no idea how fast um, 15 minutes will go when your mind is distracted on something else. Like there's days when I don't want to go on the treadmill, and especially on the days that it, had, it has been raining for like a week or two straight, and I'm like, ah. I don't want to but then I just get my phone and I'll start replying to people that send me messages on Instagram or also looking at people's Instagram stories uh, watching a YouTube video or um, I love listening to like um, sermons um, from either my church past sermons from my church or Bible studies that they've done or um, other churches sermons or bible studies or anything like that so it just kind of like the time kind of just flies for me you know um so yeah make sure you get some movement today if you haven't done your workout and you have a workout plan for today make sure you get it in okay <laughs> and like i always say in every video if you're also going through a weight loss or wellness journey let me know in the comments below i would love to encourage you if you have a channel like i do to track your progress or for accountability or for fun whatever it is let me know also and i would love to come and support you now that being said I want to say thank you to all of the new people that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I appreciate the support. You guys have left me so many encouraging comments. Uh, it just like made me so happy to see you guys commenting on my videos and encouraging me and um, supporting. Thank you so much. I've met quite a few lovely ladies and I appreciate your support thank you so much especially Tamika I don't know how you found my channel but you found me sometime last week or the week before I don't remember you are so wonderful like really you're amazing thank you so much for finding me and um, through you I know that I've met so many other wonderful ladies on YouTube and uh, thank you I appreciate you I appreciate your support and I am looking forward to getting to know every single one of you <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe leave me an encouraging comment down below and i will see you in the next one bye